everybody. Time to do a little bit of an update, I guess, on the hydroponics. I'm also going to take the domes off the onion trays and uh, see how many cells I have to reseed. And the final item on this little video will be the uh, time-lapse photography of time-lapse video that my plant cam has taken of the uh, arrow garden um, growing up to its present stage, which is remarkably quite big. Um, a couple of things happen in that little short video, it's about a half minute long, but um, about halfway through I changed the location of the camera and then a little while after that I took a couple of the uh, dill branches off because it was getting too big. So other than that it's uh, I think pretty straightforward, it's just a short little video but it does show the remarkably how quick um, it uh, has, has grown planted on the 27th of, of December and uh, already I've used dill and the uh, uh, basil is, is ready as well and I use some of the thyme actually I used a couple of sprigs of the thyme and coddled eggs the other day so it's nice to have fresh herbs growing. And that's the second tray of onions I've already had the first tray moved up on this level so I could uh, reseed some of the cells. Altogether there were nine out of the 80 cells that didn't have any germination in them yet. Five in this particular one and four in the other one. So that's not bad out of 80. I don't know that some of those might yet have come up. But what I've done is uh, to sort of ensure that I get something in each one. I've placed two more seeds in each one of those nine cells. The uh, onions are looking a bit floppy and that's because they've been they don't get full light under that dome so they will straighten up a bit and, uh, and one thing about them you really don't have to keep raising the lights on them because once they grow up into the lights you can just trim them back with scissors and I guess you could even use the the clippings but uh, they're quite forgiving that way they just grow more up from the base and, and get sturdier the more that you clip them back so that's the onions taken care of. Well, it's been a week since I gave the little hydroponics set up here its first little bit of nutrients. Um, there has been some top growth here. A little bit, some of it's quite impressive on the uh, curly mustard there, but you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, I guess. But when I uh, did this a week ago, there were um, very few roots showing, and none that were actually down into the nutrient or that time pure water solution. Well that's changed quite a bit over the week and hopefully before I finish here I get you a look at one or two of the net pots here with roots coming out. And I guess I've changed my opinion again on what I'm supposed to do here. As I said anybody that's into this and has done hydroponics before please feel free to correct me and give suggestions but in reading the the instructions here again on the little chart that came with the florifo flow uh, series of, uh, of nutrients. It says change the nutrient solution every seven to ten days and top off with fresh water between nutrient changes. Well, since I'm also putting in new nutrients every every week, um, I guess what I'll do is, is change the, the water every week and add the new nutrients to it. Anyway, I'll get this taken apart and show you what we've got in just a second here. Well, I've changed the water and cleaned out the uh, container a bit and put the aeration stone back in there. I've saved part of the old water with the nutrients in it and I plan to use it as the water that I use to water the onions and uh, eventually when I start other seedlings here, the water that I'll use to water the other seedlings. It's a five gallon container but to this mark, if you can see that, yeah, it's only with a pencil. I'm hoping it doesn't wash off, but that mark uh, is roughly four gallons. So I'm uh, cutting down the, the nutrients from what a five gallons would be down to four. And it says to add the flora micro, the micronutrients, first to fresh water. And then I guess you let that mix for a while and then add the other two nutrients. So I'm just going to show you the flora micro being added. You don't really need to see all three, I guess. Um, for four gallons, it should be 16 uh, milliliters for the second week of flora micro. And uh, 
I put about 15 in because I'm going a little weak on this just in case I cut the water level off a bit. But it's a very dark looking solution. These little stainless steel dishes that I'm using are should be non-reactive so nothing would be happening in them. I don't have any idea what I originally got those for, if they were given to me or what. But they've been tucked away in a drawer for years and I never seem to use them so I found a use for those as well. Anyway, I'll show you some of the uh, roots on the coming out of the net pots once I have this ready to put back together. Now this is the parsley. I think it probably shows the roots as well as any of the other ones do see these little white things coming out here. Those were not in evidence at all. And on the other side, uh, well, there's something coming out in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. They were not in evidence at all when I, before I put the first nutrients in. So I think that's been the, the biggest change in the past week. Uh, I've got the plants back in. We should probably see them over there. I may have to add just a bit more water. Um, the bottom of the pots I think are out of the water and since the, the roots aren't really hanging down into the nutrient yet I think I probably will add a bit more water. Anyway, I'll give you a little look at the arrow garden and then add the uh, time lapse to the end of this video and that will be it. I've raised the light for the first time in the arrow garden mainly because this plume here of uh, dill was up in the light and as you can see it's got a little scorched on the end there. I'll be clipping that off and either dehydrating it or, or using it well, probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm just waiting for this new uh, little frond that's coming up there to open up some before I cut some off of it. And the dill, uh, the dill, excuse me, the basil I'll be doing the same thing. I think I'll be cutting that back to one of the places where it branches so it will divide and uh, and come up a little bushier than it is. And as I said, I've already used a bit of the thyme. It was very good. I had it in coddled eggs. Well, what follows is a 25 second, I think, time lapse of how the arrow garden got to this stage. Thank you very much for watching.